Welcome to the 2022 inaugural Sports Awards Ceremony for the Heritage School. Please stand for the National Anthem. heads and pray. Dear Lord, Heavenly Father, we come before your throne of grace, thanking you for this beautiful evening. We thank you for bringing us here together to celebrate the hard work that has been showcased this entire year. May you guide us and protect us as we go through tonight without any disruptions, and may we keep working hard and being inspired and always remember to have fun and push. Amen. Tonight is a special one for our sports achievers who have exhibited not only great talent on the field of play, but a deep commitment to sports, all drawn from students right from the infants department all the way up to the senior department. Now, I know you've heard a lot of my voice this year. Now, before I give it a rest, I'd like to hear a special message from our sports director, Mr. Gordon Pangeti. Welcome to our combined Infants, Junior and Senior Sports Awards. This is the very first time we've had to combine all the three different departments and create an atmosphere for them to be awarded, uh, celebrated, acknowledged for all the hard work they put in through the year. We have several sports that we offer at the Heritage School and tonight will be that showcase where you see the developments that we've produced over the years. Our program starts from the infants department all the way through to senior, looking at the gross motor skills of our students and different uh, variations uh, that we put our children through uh, to, in order to produce the best uh, athlete. Uh, we create a fun and friendly environment with our coaches who are highly, highly, highly educated, highly skilled, and some are even uh, training and coaching national teams as we speak. We have a program that has been uh, brought about by Kaima, which is a CrossFit program, which is helping the students get their strength and conditioning uh, in order to develop uh, their muscles, in order to get stronger, in order to be more competitive uh, throughout the year. We've also continued with our tour programs, where we go as far as Europe and uh, the Americas, as we want to develop our students in order to give them the experience they need 
so that when they leave the school, they are well equipped uh, to take on the challenges of the world. We have a vibrant gap year program where our students who finish uh, uh, off at year 13 get an opportunity to work for a year, uh, zone in on their skills, uh, tap in into some of the work environments, get a bit of a salary, and uh, are able to mature, become better citizens in the world, and also work with their young brothers and sisters throughout the year. So this is something fascinating. We've got the hockey uh, clubs that are going to be um, introduced in 2023. We've got basketball that's going to be introduced in 2023. This is also uh, to tie up the academies that we've brought up. Uh, the golf academy, the basketball academy, uh, football academy, all in one home, all in one house to produce the best of the best. And this will take time and it's a process. We have an amazing uh, scholarship program thanks to our directors who've allowed us to go the length and breadth of the country looking for some of the talented athletes uh, in the country. And this has helped and benefited the students who are within our community to elevate and excel uh, in all the sports that they do. So what does the future hold for Heritage? Uh, we're looking at improving on the infrastructure and I'm excited to tell you that our directors are right now planning a way forward for the next 25 years. But I want to take you back a little on the process that is the sports department at Heritage School. I look at a coach like Alex Ferguson and I read up his books and one thing in particular that he takes great pride in is continuity, consistency, commitment. And this all starts from infants department. Tonight you're all here, not only to witness the great feats of the senior school students, but the inception, the very start, the very beginning from the infants department. Some of our students right now that we will celebrate started at the infants department. Now, like I said, it's a process. And so Alex Ferguson was successful because he managed to keep a group of individuals who were young and became unbeaten, world over. And that was because he was able to keep the talent within one facility. Tonight, I'm here to plant a seed to you, the infant parent, to you, the junior school parent, to trust the process and stay with us in order for us to develop and build amazing talent that you are looking at right this evening. We hope to develop your students. We hope to empower them. We hope to create good character. And most importantly, I hope to get provincial and national team representatives from the school. We have already been doing it, but it will take a bigger task, a more support and big buy-in from all of us. I'm sincerely grateful to the head of the Infants Department, Ms. Manyanga, the head of the Junior Department, Mr. Mate, and the head of Senior Department, Mr. Mike, for the outstanding uh, support they give me each and every week. We have different uh, sporting activities that we have to host. Some weeks you have three different departments running, uh, you know, programs like cross country, athletics, swimming, and it's a tireless, tireless task. It's, it's a big feat for most of us, but because of their support, because of their knowledge, uh, it creates family, and we are family. And this is why we are here, from infants all the way to senior. We are wanting to create an amazing environment for your children. We want to create an amazing environment for you, the parents. The directors are in the process as well of creating supporters' jerseys, supporters' jackets, just to integrate everyone so that we come on a Friday and a Saturday with pride. All those that go for athletics uh, meet, uh, meets, uh, swimming meets, cricket meets, uh, will be branded and we'll be there proud to support our children. Now, this process will not be possible if we do not get your support. And tonight I hope with everything that goes on, you get an appreciation of what the coaches do, what the heritage community does, and of course, the master plan from our school directors. All this would not be possible without our sponsors. All the tours, all the tournaments, all the fixtures. We're grateful for those that have tagged along with us, 
have partnered with us for the last 25 years. And we hope that they will be with us in the next 25. My journey here hasn't been easy. When I got this job 10 years ago, I thought I'd just be a sports director. But lo and behold, God had other plans. He wanted me to be a dad, a father. I needed to be someone who mentors, someone who preaches, someone who's sometimes a bit tough, but always loving, always caring. I have to be supporting my coaches. I have to support the students. And I have to listen to the bosses. Yes, the school directors. But I'm grateful for the support I've been getting from parents. It is so encouraging that allows me to keep doing the job that I do. And I'm grateful for this opportunity. I myself played professional sport, but I know the benefits of playing sport at a school level and developing it. I always say to my coaches, it is not in winning that we achieve, but it is in trusting the process, making the students understand what they need to do and developing them so that they can reach their utmost best. And I'll end off with Alta Pate. Enjoy the evening.
outfit the heritage jazz band for the melodic sound i think they deserve one more round of applause now sport undoubtedly forms the bedrock of our core educational curriculum which provides an extraordinary array of academic artistic sporting and leadership opportunities for students alta pete aim high is our school motto, and this succinctly points out to the spirit of the school. We are committed to providing an outstanding environment for students to thrive in their various sporting endeavors. And we will continue to thrive. Now, this would not have been possible without the men and women who may not be stars themselves, but are endowed with a special intuition to spot the talent within us and develop it so that it may shine to the world. These are none other than the coaching staff at the Heritage School Sports Department. Ladies and gentlemen, we introduce you to these men and women. Joseph Parafino. Edgar Muchibwa. Rejoice Simeti. Tatenda Museba Hickman Maruma Hoko Corinne Mandu Jonathan Nemutambwe Basil Dingiswayo Tichakunda Mapira Admire Go Rose Garikai My name is Miri Raishe Mupaka Viri and I am taking over from Miss Mwatura. And I am Tinote Najembe and I'm succeeding Naomi. This year's HH Sports Award ceremony is taking place at the back of many COVID-induced restrictions, but I'm happy we turn to action in 2022 with a fantastic sporting season for the Heritage School. Yes, Tino, we have seen full participation of students in all sporting disciplines, from infants department right across to the senior department. Here are some highlights.
Wow, what a season, Mary Rashi. Indeed, a great season. But it wouldn't have been possible without the support of key stakeholders. I know it's not a vote of thanks yet, but I would just like to acknowledge the support of our school directors, the dedicated staff at the Heritage Sports Department, our dear parents, and most importantly, our esteemed sponsors who have shown unwavering support for us over the years. We are so grateful, and we encourage you all to continue supporting us. At this juncture, allow me to invite on stage our sports director, Mr. Gordon Pangeti, to come and introduce the chief guest for tonight's sports awards ceremony. Thank you. Good evening. Good evening, directors present, fellow heads, coaches, managers, teachers, parents, and my special guests for tonight, the athletes. Good evening. Uh, I love those smiles. I always look forward to coming to school to see, see those beautiful smiles. Now, before I invite our special guest, um, I just want to talk about the guy. Uh, we went to school together, we played rugby together, but now we are grown men who are important people in society. <laughs> When we were young, we never realized that sport would take us so far. And uh, now we're giving back to the society. I'm proud to call upon the stage Mr. Gerald Sibanda, who is president and CEO of Athlesphere Management. He's a renowned sports promoter and manager with interest in sporting disciplines, including rugby, football, netball, boxing, and recently basketball a former professional international rugby player with a career spanning 12 years. He also was part of the Zimbabwe Cheetahs team from 2006 to 2012 and participated at the World Sevens uh, International Tournament. At some point, I wasn't even able to make that tournament, but Mr. Sibanda did. <laughs> Jerry, you've got one on me, eh? After his playing career, his love and passion to develop sport in Zimbabwe continued. As part of Athlete Sphere, he has joined up with Heritage School. He is now CEO and President of Rio Batiste Zimbabwe, a franchise that is brought here to the Heritage School. We are privileged to invite to stage Mr. Gerald Sibanda. Alta Pete. Am I? Alta Pete. Am I? Thank you, Mr. Gordon Panketi. That was a very good introduction, a very humbling one. Um, thank you, thank you, thank you. To the school directors, heads of department, important members in, of government who are here, uh, parents, sponsors, Ladies and gentlemen, and the athletes, our champions. It's a great honor, obviously, to stand before you. Um, it's been a journey. It's been a journey. Uh, we are in the house of sports. I think this is the, the ecosystem of sport, the space of sport. That is why we're gathered here. But I think we need to understand that um, sport is a multi-billion dollar industry. Sport is a multi-million dollar industry in some continents. But the most important thing, I think, from our, our aim, obviously, from uh, Athletes Fear Management, our sports agency, is to try to bring world-class opportunities to our community, not just Zimbabwe, but Africa. So I'll give you a brief background of where we are coming from, and obviously, a little bit of my story. Um, Yes, Mr. Pangeti has spoken uh, everything. I'm a professional and international, former professional international rugby player for Zimbabwe and obviously a career spending many years. I made enough from sport. I made enough money to pay my bills. But 
with some other people's careers, sometimes it gives you a huge fortune that after you retire, you are an investor in multiple businesses. Uh, I'm sure you talk of Cristiano Ronaldo. You all know Cristiano Ronaldo. See. <laughs> Cristiano Ronaldo is still playing football. He hasn't retired yet, but already is already an entrepreneur. He's a businessman now. He's an investor into multiple businesses. So sport either, if you make it in your, in your profession as a career, it will give you a fortune before you retire that you're then able to have a perfect foundation to, to live in the life after sports. Obviously, in the corporate world, in the business world, wherever you choose to be. But to some, it's not just about a fortune. Some, maybe it's networks. Networks, wherever you play, wherever you go. So I happen to be the other one who found networks 12 years playing in Europe, around the world. I came back, of course, with uh, enough, but I think I could have done more. As I said, sport is a multi-billion dollar industry. That is what all aspiring athletes aspire to do, to get that breakthrough, that great contract, that then help in, helps you to look after yourself, your families, and obviously uh, return back the investment to your parents who send you to good schools and created opportunities for you. The networks that I created have allowed me to be a visionary, to think beyond what was given to me when I was playing my sporting career. I've been privileged that I'm a partner of one of the biggest football leagues in the world, that's the Spanish La Liga. I'm also a partner of one of the biggest football clubs in Europe and in Spain, Real Betis, who play in the same league with Barcelona, Real Madrid, and Atletico Madrid. Such a great uh, institution. So, with our relations with Heritage School, obviously I'm a parent here. What we've always aspired to do is to create these world class uh, opportunities. We are so privileged that our relations with Mr. Gordon Pangetti, the sports director, Mr. Tom Austin, the school directors have allowed us to come back and pour whatever opportunities we get from the rest of the world. So La Liga is a heritage school. Real Betis is a heritage school. The Golden Lions Rugby Union will be forming an academy in Zimbabwe with our agreement in 2023 will be a heritage school. Now we talk of basketball. One of the best leagues in Europe is La Liga and Real Betis has got a basketball team. So what I'm trying to say to you is that we are doing our best to create as many opportunities for you, the athletes, that you may one day enjoy the great fruits and great fortunes of sport. So to the parents, every time you see those uh, sponsorship letters that come to you that the kids are going on tour, please don't uh, deny your kids opportunities. It's just a few hundreds and a few thousands in investing <laughs> In investing in a multi-million dollar career, you understand me? So, to us, when we look at you, I know some of you are in different professions and careers. Some are doctors, some are engineers, some are in aviation, everyone's dream, dream job. But you also need to respect that the sporting industry in the world is one of the biggest paying industries. Cristiano Ronaldo earns 500,000 pounds a week. Marvelous Nakamba earns a few tens of thousands of pounds a week. Marvelous Nakamba is from Zimbabwe, so I do not want to talk about people who are far away from you, but I want to talk about people that you know. I mean, if your child is going to make it one day with these opportunities we are creating for them, automatically it means that those few hundreds and thousands that you have been um, thinking twice about paying, I'm sure Marvelous Nakamba's parents are so, so happy today. Tinukadewiri's parents are so happy today. So the little investment that you can do to your kids, do your best and invest in their talents. Do your best and invest in their talents. Sport is a multi-million dollar industry. It is not just a hobby, but it is a way of life. Sport is a vehicle for many sectors of society a vehicle that unifies nations, a vehicle that breaks political divides, a vehicle that is used by many to find 
the social impact that they would want to do. So this is my message to you. I'm not here to make a speech, but to make a message. The message to you, the athletes, you are the champions tomorrow. Continue to improve. Continue to work extra harder. Continue to dream big. Continue to listen to your coaches. Continue to trust the process of your development. Many great athletes, many great superstars with the opportunities we will create for you and the pathways we will give you. One day you remember this day when you are somewhere in the world. One day your parents will remember this day when they are flying in one of your private jets. So in your curriculum education in the school, sport is one of the careers. It's not a hobby. It's one of the careers. So I wish you all the best and well done for the year. Uh, to the athletes, we celebrate you today and we look forward to the coaches continuing to impart all the skills and expertise to allow you to excel. Some will go into university, some will play professional sport, some will become better people because of the different social skills that sport gives you. To the teachers, thank you very much for raising complete students and complete athletes. To the parents, once again, I say thank you. And in 2023, Mr. Pangeti, may the hundreds of dollars let us continue to come. <laughs> the parents must invest in the careers of their children. In study other careers, they must also pay to improve and create opportunities for their kids. Their kids are one door away to become the multi, next multimillionaire in sport. Nakamba is one, all the way from Zimbabwe in the English Premier League. Nothing is impossible. Autapete. Am I? Thank you, thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Categories First Term Sports Award Cross Country Athletics Tennis Indoor Hockey Second Term Award Basketball Field Hockey Rugby Soccer Netball Third Term Sports Award Swimming Cricket, table tennis, archery, judo, karate, rhythmic gymnastics, taekwondo, golf, chess, ballet, gymnastics. Welcome the TIC Sports Infants Department, Coach Museba. A very good evening to you all. First time was a great start to the year as we had gone back to sports full time. We are able to host the Heritage Athletic Sprints Challenge and cross-country competitions for infants, junior, and senior school, with some of our athletes making it into provincial and national teams. It gives me great pleasure to announce the first term Sports Achievers 2022 in the following categories, cross-country, athletics, tennis, cricket, and indoor hockey. At this point in time, I'd like to call upon Mr. Gerard Sibanda, our chief guest, to assist with the handing of awards. Please note to clap at the end of each category. In the first category, which is cross country, Run of the year, year one girls, 
Chadiswa Mujaji. Run of the year, year two girls, Leslie Mukumba. Run of the year, under nine girls, Isabella Kangai. Run of the year, under ten girls, Gracia Mujao. Run of the year, and 11 girls, Tadiwa Kaningoni. Run of the year, under 12 girls, Celine Magilana. Run of the year, under 13 girls, Kudieta Tomana. Run of the year, under 15 girls, Conley Makoni. Run of the year, under 17 girls, Tanaka Garikai. Run of the year, open girls, Audrey Mutandiro. Moving on to the boys. Run of the year. Run of the year, year two boys, Kelvin Chisenye. Run of the year, under nine boys, Karis Mujao. Run of the year, under ten boys, Aninash Doro. Run of the year, under 11 boys, Derek Bigadadi. Run of the year, under 12 boys, Tinomuda Garikai. Run of the year, under 13 boys, Christian Vuma. Run of the year, under 15 boys, Tatenda Mukarakate. Run out the year, under 17 boys, Tinomuda Munjengwa. Run out the year, open boys, Koslati Dube. A round of applause to all our athletes. May I please call upon Mr. Pangeti to help me assist with the awards.
Moving on to athletics. Shauna Kanyozora. Athlete of the Year, Under 10 Girls, Lisa Gojo. Athlete of the Year, Under 11 Girls, Eurama Afeni. Athlete of the Year, Under 12 Girls, Jehoshiba Chati. Athlete of the Year, Under 13 Girls, Kudzieta Tomana. Athlete of the Year, Under 15 Girls, Conley Makoni. Athlete of the Year, Under 17 Girls, Tanaka Garikai. Athlete of the Year, Open Girls, Tanya Radwa Kashambe. <laughs> Moving on to the boys. Athlete of the Year, Under Nine Boys, Yemide Dedegbe. <laughs> Athlete of the Year, Under Ten Boys, Anashe Doro. Athlete of the Year, Under 11 Boys, Patson Mukumba. Athlete of the Year, Under 12 Boys, Daniel Chiromo. Athlete of the Year, Under 13 Boys, Takunda Mutuadirwa. Athlete of the Year, Under 15 Boys, Tatenda Mukarakate. Athlete of the Year, Under-17 Boys, Tinomuda Mujengwa. Athlete of the Year, Open Boys, Denzel Mutero. Moving on to tennis. Tennis player of the year, year one girls, Ariel Chimanga. Tennis player of the year, year two girls, Kaila Muchemwa. Tennis player of the year, under nine girls, Isabella Kangai. Tennis player of the year, Phyllis Emma Mutarisi. Tennis player of the year, under 13 girls, Tadiwa Nukwara. Tennis player of the year, under 13 boys, Tinomuda Garikai. Tennis player of the year, under 14 girls, Philippa Mapfumo. Tennis player of the year, under 15 girls, Rumbizai Mutuadirwa. Tennis player of the year, under 16 girls, 
Joanne Matikiti. Tennis Player of the Year, Open Girls Tanaka Garikai. A round of applause to our sponsors. <laughs> Moving on to cricket. Cricket of the Year, Year Two Boys, Kelvin Chisenye. Cricket of the Year, Year Three Boys, Tanatwa Muranda. Cricket of the Year, Colts. Chris Chisenye. Cricket of the Year, Under 13 Boys, Joseph Joyce. Cricket of the Year, Under 14 Boys, Ariel Coutinho. Cricket of the Year, Under-15 Boys, Tina Shendenga. Cricket of the Year, Under-16 Boys, Judah Debele. Cricket of the Year, Open Boys, Tadiwa Nashe Chingadze. Our last category for the first time sports is indoor hockey. Indoor hockey player of the year, Juniors Rukudzo Muslanga. Indoor hockey player of the year, senior girls, Audrey Mutandiro. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for staying with us tonight. And at this own moment, I want to invite the TIC Sports Junior Department, Coach Edgar, to help announce our second term sports achievers for the year 2022. A pleasant evening to you all. Second term was an epic term for all sports. From having a flawless season for the first team girls basketball and first team girls hockey to an 80% win record for our first team rugby boys. We also managed to host our inaugural girls basketball school super cup tournament in which we won. Our junior teams will not be outdone with our Phillies Nebel team winning gold at Rosawi. I'm pleased to announce that we have some of our students representing, uh, representing teams at provincial and national level. This evening, I'm honored to present second term sports. May I please kindly ask Mr. Gerald Sabanda to come and help me award this, um, to present these awards. May you all please be reminded to clap after every category. Basketball. Player of the Year for Under-14 Girls, Mary Guasira. Oh, 
Under 15 girls, Hazel Munazzi. Under 16 girls, Kuziwa Murenje. She's in camp uh, for Zimbabwe. She will be going for um, uh, a Zim tour uh, to Zambia in the next few weeks. Zambia in the next few weeks. Open girls, Tyra Kumbula. Moving on to the boys. Under 13 boys, Daniel Chiromo. Under 14 boys, Quincy Harawa. Just wait. Under 15 boys, Tatenda Mukarakate. Under 16 boys, Tendekai Mavera. And basketball player of the year for the open boys, Gotri Srinawashi. A big round of applause for all our basketball players. Moving on to field hockey. Year one girls, Hannah Mushininga. Year two girls, Asma Fatma. She's not present with us today. Field hockey player of the year for the under nine girls, Ntabi Seng Museba. Phillies Hockey, Tawana Nyasha Karikoga. Under 13 girls, Ruwarashe Maturura. Under 14 girls, Esther Nimura. Under 15 girls, Kudakwashe Tomana. Under 16 girls, Shamiso Muchena. Field Hockey Player of the Year for the Open Girls, Tatenda Maswera. A big round of applause for our field hockey players. Moving on to rugby. Winning the Heritage Trophy Rugby Player of the Year, Year One, Munenyasha Gore. Player of the Year in Year Two, Malakai Shamu. Year three, Alpha Mutiwadira. Player of the year for Colts Rugby, Patson Mukumba. Under 13 boys, Christian Vuma.
Player of the Year for Under-14 Boys, Samuel Tuturu. Rugby Player of the Year for Under-15 Boys, Adrian Chijete. Under-16 Boys, Chima Nwadike. And winning the Heritage Trophy Rugby Player of the Year for the Open Boys, Godfrey Zinawashe. A big round of applause for these young gentlemen. Moving on to the Nakambas, the football players of the year. Football player of the year for junior girls, Aninyasha Ndoro. Footballer of the year, under 15 girls, Tadiwa Nashe Mutunu Washata. Receiving the Heritage Trophy, Footballer of the Year, Senior Girls, Sarai Muchena. She is not here with us today. Year One Boys, Tatenda Makumire. Year Two Boys, Enoch Maputeni. Footballer of the Year, Year 3 Boys, Liazzo Moyang. <laughs> and for the Colts, Jaden Mashingaize. Under 13 boys, Christian Vuma. Footballer of the Year, Junior Boys, Samuel Tuturu. Footballer of the Year, Senior Boys, Denzel Mutero. <laughs> A big round of applause for our football stars. <laughs> Moving on to the last sport for second term sports, netball. Winning the Heritage Trophy, Netball of the Year, Phoebe's Lisa Gojo. And Netballer of the Year, Under 13 Girls, Kuzieta Tomana. Thank you so much. A pleasant evening to you all. Third term was mainly ball games and swimming as our main sports. We hosted the Mr. Mwanza Memorial Basketball Game and the Boys Senior Interschools Gala and Junior School Friendly Gala. Our senior girls team made us proud with coming first in the B Division Galas. A very great finish to the year. Moving on to the third term sports award, I'd like to call Mr. Pangeti to help me.
starting with swimming, receiving the Heritage Trophy, Swimmer of the Year, Year One Girls, Zoe Nimura. Maita Reed. Swimmer of the Year, Under 10 Girls, Ruth Nimura. Swimmer of the Year, Under 9 Girls, Rarashi Mukungunungwa. Swimmer of the Year, Under 11 Girls, Tiana Tengerai. Swimmer of the Year, Under 12 Girls, Tiara Muchegua. Swimmer of the Year, Under 13 Girls, Miriraishe Mupakaviri. Swimmer of the Year, Under 14 Girls, Esther Nimura. Swimmer of the Year, Under 15 Girls, Makanaka Tsiga. Swimmer of the Year, Under... Swimmer of the Year, Open Girls, Tanikwa Piri. A huge round of applause to the girls swimmers. <laughs> Moving on to boys. Year one boys, Wayne Bualia. Swimmer of the year, year two boys, Calvin Chisenye. Swimmer of the year, under nine boys, Alpha Mutuadirwa. Swimmer of the year, under 10 boys, Angel Chirombe. Swimmer of the year, under 11 boys, Tafara Mapfumo. Swimmer of the year, under 12 boys, Mudiwa Chijete. Swimmer of the Year, Under 13 Boys, Takunda Mutuadirwa. Swimmer of the Year, Under 14 Boys, Fuchilu. Swimmer of the Year, Under 15 Boys, Adrian Chidrete. Swimmer of the Year, Under 16 Boys, Tendekai Mavera.
Swimmer of the Year, Under-17 Boys, David Nimura. Swimmer of the Year, Open Boys, Sean Janji. A huge round of applause for our swimmers. <laughs> Moving on to table tennis, receiving the Heritage Trophy. Table Tennis Player of the Year, Junior Girl, Esther Nimura. Table Tennis Player of the Year, Junior boy, Tafara Nokwara. Table Tennis Player of the Year, Senior boy, Denzel Mutero. A huge round of applause for our Table Tennis players. Moving on to golf, receiving the Heritage Trophy, Golfer of the Year, Infant Girl, Paidamoyo Zaravan. Golfer of the Year, Infant Boys, Munesu Pangeti. Gopher of the Year, Junior Girl, Rudo Pangeti. Gopher of the Year, Junior Boy, Tadiskwa Katoma. Gopher of the Year, Senior Boy, Nkosinat Dube. Gopher of the Year, Senior Boy, Tariro November. A huge round of applause to, for our golfers. <laughs> Moving on to archery. Receiving the Heritage Trophy, Archer of the Year, Junior Davis Mukarati. Archer of the Year Senior, Takuzwa Shirizinomwa. A huge round of applause for our archery team. <laughs> Moving on to ballet. Our best ballet dancer of the year, Vaslim Tanda. Yeah. Moving on to Chess, Chess Player of the Year, Junior Nico Muri. A huge round of applause. <laughs> Moving on to Judo, Athlete of the Year, Tafadzwa Mkarati. A huge round of applause. <laughs> Moving on to gymnastics. Gymnast of the year, Tadiskwa Samanyai. Rhythmic 
gymnast of the year, Chikondi. A huge round of applause. <laughs> Moving on to Karat. Karat, Karateka Athlete of the Year, Yemide Degdegbe. A huge round of applause. Thank you. Good evening to all. Um, now, we are, I'm here to present to you the Sports Directors Awards. And to assist me in giving out these awards, the Sports Directors Uh, this award is given to the sixth form, to the outgoing students who made an impact in the teams they were involved in. And this year, a certificate is awarded to Tinotenda Jembere. Ruimbo Shumba. In absentia, Tanasia Kaseke. And Naomi Oguamanam. followed by Tadiwa Nashe Benyu. And finally, Mchiyangwa. Thank you, Mr. Pangeti. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm sure you agree with me that tonight has been more than amazing. Heartfelt congratulations to all the honorees of the night. Before we crown it off with the most outstanding sports achievers in all the departments, I'd like to invite a phenomenal, did I mention phenomenal, young lady and boy, I had to write down all her achievements. She is the first team hockey deputy, sports captain in Zim under 18 and Zim under 21 hockey, cross country teams, athletics team, swimming, tennis and basketball teams, indeed a multi-gifted sportswoman. Audrey Mutandiro to give her valedictorian remarks. Only a man who knows what it is like to be defeated can come down to the bottom of his soul and come up with the extra ounce of power it takes to win. 
when the match is even. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, esteemed directors, heads, parents, teachers, and most importantly, the students' body. I am Audrey Mutandiro, Prefect in charge of Girls Sport, and I'm here to address you for the very last time. I was a shy, naive girl entering the gates of the Heritage School. It's how the speech would have started. However, that would be a lie. In my case, it's different. Instead, a strong-minded individual decided that she wanted to begin and end her journey in this prestigious institution. Don't be fooled. When the results have been laid out on a platter, the world thinks it's easy, but you are far from the truth. The blood, sweat, and tears shed behind the scenes is barely seen. Let me give you a glimpse. To all those that don't know, I had decided to leave school after year 12. However, some very special people convinced me otherwise. Who knew the year I wanted to leave would be the year I would achieve what most achieved over many years? I remember vividly attending the trials for hockey in 2019, made it into possibles and probables, only to become a non-traveling reserve. I was heartbroken, but I never gave up. 2020 came by, and COVID was like, psych, not this year. We sat at home for a very long time, gained a bit of weight, until finally the pandemic decided that it was time for a water break. 2022 knocked on my door, holding a couple of surprises in its arms, and bit by bit, I unraveled each one. In term two, the hockey and, ba the hockey and basketball season commenced. I was chosen for the Chiefs Basketball Schools team. Then I went ahead to make it into the under-18 Zimbabwe hockey team. Couple of weeks later, I tried out for the under-21s team. When I tell you the sun was sunning, I mean it. In the scorching heat, the trials went on. Then they decided, ooh, let's add another day. Fortunately, I made the cut. However, I won't be attending it due to a change of plans. We won't dwell on that though. I'm not one to see the importance in certain things that I do, but when someone, when someone is to tell the people that, look what she does, or look at what she has done, you then come to realize that, that the little things count. This story has been told a couple of times, and this definitely won't be the last time. I entered the boarding house 2017. I remember every day during the winter season, knocking on Coach Edgar's door at 4 a.m. so we could go for a morning jog. I would completely disregard the fact that the previous day, I couldn't walk up the stairs because my body was in pain. But I enjoyed it. Not only did we go for a run, we would then go into Hazard, lift tractor tires, and work out till the sun had risen. That was an extra hour, the extra step I went to achieve the results I wanted. There's no sport in this school that I didn't play. You name it, basketball, hockey, swimming, tennis, athletics, cross country, soccer. Believe me, if there was girls rugby, I would be there. <laughs> Anything that I had set my mind to, I achieved. I've been through it all. Concussions, torn muscles, being hit by a hockey ball, hitting myself with a hockey ball, and much more. Call me crazy, but I believe pain is all in the mind. Regardless, don't neglect your body. If your body decides to shut down, it will and rebooting will take a very long time. Just a piece of advice. There were countless times where I would cry literal tears because I was tired, so close to giving up. But when you have the support system that I have, you can never reach rock bottom. Firstly, to the school. I have so much to be grateful for, but very little time to say it all. Thank you so much for teaching me academically and to mentally grow to become the person I am today. Thank you to the sports coaches as well, for seeing the talent in me and transforming me into the jack of all trades and taking me for extra practice sessions and your continuous support. To my boarding house parents, I am happy to have been a part of the Acacia family. Although some of our interactions were interesting, like when you caught me that afternoon, to explain myself, I was pretty full from the fries and chicken, so I just wanted to rest. I am happy to leave the boarding house with the knowledge you've instilled in me. To Papa P and Mr. Pangetti, fathers away from home. Anything that I needed in school, these were my go-to people. 
I am happy to have been blessed with such figures in my life. The Common Room Committee, EC, Tyra, Tanasia, Bryce, Sean, Devin, TJ, Naomi, Natai, Dumi, Tanatsa, and G5. Who knew by the time I finished high school, you would become my people, my family away from home. You had me cramping with laughter every single day. The out-of-pocket conversations will always be memorable. It's all hearts to you guys. To my sisters, Tanya Raza, Tyra, Tanasia, and Athena, I'm going to miss you so much. Our little discussions where we talked about nothing and everything at the same time. I wish I could say more, but the book won't be published today. I love you. To those who are listening, well, I talked about some special people. There happens to be three people very close to my heart. Coach Edgar, control the controllables. My hockey goes, you understand the PTSD the statement brings. However, you are my pillar of strength. You are always present on my worst days and my good days. You stood by me through everything. It's petrifying to think that the world I'm now entering, you won't be there physically. But what you have shown me and the wisdom you've shared will always be encrypted here and here. I will miss you dearly. I saved the best for last, my parents. When I think of hustlers, they are the two people that come to mind. If I could lay the world at their feet, I would, because they deserve that and so much more. I remember my father told me on countless occasions, <laughs> but he also became the same person to show up to many of my practice sessions and also happened to witness when I was selected for the Zim team. He doesn't work in the country. You think that after a simple kiss to the cheek and a wave goodbye at the airport, that's where it would end, but no. Little terms of endearment like bonjour ma petite ange, which all French gurus know means hello my little angel would pop up in my messages every single time. They had me jittery and happy the rest of the day. Even in absentia, he's still one of my biggest cheerleaders. I love you. To my mom, my biggest fan, number one paparazzi, and many more. I could list to no end. By now, people knew if I ran out of class, it was to see her. She makes me happy. I'm resilient because of her. Even when she's sick, she doesn't rest. With the backache, she's up and about. I'm blessed to have such a loving mom. I love you to no ends. My parents are my role models. It's one thing to be a proud parent and a completely different thing to be a proud child. I am happy to have you in my life. I have everything I could ever ask for, and it's because of you. So thank you. To the upcoming head of sport, Panaka Kambadza. Trust me when I say you don't have to be the best in every sport for you to lead. However, your presence and support is more than enough to push a team or an individual that extra mile, be it a rugby game or a cricket match. Five minutes of your time just to see, you never know how great of an impact it has. I've said it before, be a leader of influence. You're of better use when you're respected than when you're feared. Remember that. As I say my goodbyes, I say them with a heavy heart, but my shopping cart is overflowing. If I could relieve this journey, I would only change one thing, coming to the school sooner. Once a hornet, always a hornet. Opportunity is missed by most people because it is dressed in overalls and looks like work. Work hard in silence and let success be your noise. I am Audrey Muntandir once again, signing out, out of pete, I thank you. Thank you, Audrey, for such an inspiring speech. Indeed, you have set a pace for many girls like me to keep aiming higher. Allow me to invite on stage Tadiwa Benyu, the sports captain and first team rugby, athletics, cross country, and cricket player for his valedictory address. Growing up in Algeria, the only sports which were offered were basketball and soccer. 
But all I could do was play soccer, which is one of the God-given talents I have to this day. Unfortunately, I was at a big disadvantage coming to Zimbabwe in grade five because all the sports except for soccer were taken seriously. But I was a star in soccer. Luckily, the only sport I would dominate in by getting Victor Ladora, which is the best athlete in an age group at every athletics event being hosted, be it um, inter schools, be it in town. Just about that time, I was quite fortunate to have one of the cheetahs best former player, Mr. Alex Ndangana, as my coach. So he tried to help me to channel my speed into his game. But I had no other skill. So that year was very hard year for me to even make the bench. The only thing that got me on the bus was being a water boy. At least I could use my speed there. Grade six, same old story about getting the Victor Ladora, my minerals in the blood. But now, I had a chance since the Pangetis, the Marufus, the Simbas were now in high school. So Mr. Ndangana put me at center, that's the position in rugby. And every time I got the ball, people thought I was dashing and stepping, but in actual fact, I was running away from my dear life because people were out to get me. When the hockey coach, Mr. Chipumuro, noticed my speed, he also asked me to join the hockey team. And within a few weeks, we were going for trials. And that was about the time I made my first team outside of the school, which was the provincial team MCD under 13, in which already we came second. In grade seven, not much happened because I was an off age, but I was glad that we dominated the majority of the time. With Shingi, Chayai, and Tafo. But you always have the cyclones from other schools who would always be trying to pull school down because they were that good. Just to name a few, these were the Edwards, Ndoro, Gudas, and all those other guys. As for cricket, that same year, I had the best catch of the tournament. I got selected into the Mountaineers under 13 cricket team when I was still in grade seven. And this message is to the coaches. Sometimes you've got hidden talent, banking the sessions up there when you've got certain individuals that are there. Pull them up. Um, I've got an example of Taro, Mantaro. He always used to rank, he was never there at the fields, and I think one of the coaches took him up. And before we knew it, he was actually shining. He was one of the starting props. Now this part is where I want the junior school kids to listen to, especially those who are going into high school next year. I was one of the stars in junior school. So whatever sport you can name, I was there with the other lads. But high school is a different ball game. For athletics, I think it was always in the blood because I would always get the Victor Ladorum and many other trophies. But I just never took it seriously because my heart was always with soccer. It got so hard for me in sport because now the Cyclones that I had mentioned from those other schools were now in the same school as me. We were so good such that the only game that we lost that year was to Loma Gandhi, but the rest, we punished. Then we went on to Form 2. That's when it got really challenging. You know what, let me stop talking about the athletics because it was the same old story every year. Then the holiday came, so a week before um, the Dairy Board Rugby Festival, we used to go into a camp for training. So it's all scripted here. Training, um, I did not get a single time I was called into the lineup, even the second one. All I would do was just get water for the lads which were training, and as the water boy, it pained me because everyone was getting game time and having fun, and I was just chilling. Then we got to Dairy Board. So David Masuera, my before one day. <laughs> He's got one beautiful one who's sitting in the crowd there. <laughs> he doesn't need another one. He had come to stay with us because he lived quite far. You know, I was always the starting fullback in the Cubs team. So every time we'd get home, my mom would be like, how was the game, boys? How did you play, David? How did you play, Tadiwa? And boy, was I embarrassed to say anything. But as a brother, you'd always cover up for me and say, mm, but I'm not going away. <laughs> so usually, there are three games at the Dairy Board Rugby Festival. So I'd already missed two. Every time Mr. Roger would tell me to go warm up, I would go up, pacing up and down, you know, and you'd pick almost everyone but me. 
You know that, look, 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 this part, this part. I'm sure all the players know this, those who've been on the bench. That look the coach gives you, he goes, this one. And then goes, <laughs> what? What? making substitutions. Finish off, boys. That was uh, quite embarrassing. So then the last day of Dairy Board, I think this is the interesting part. The last day of Dairy Board was approaching with one game left. And that night, I remember my mom and all the relatives asked me to come watch my game. Hectic. The next day, I say it was just an award ceremony. Did they know that there was one game left going on that day? And I told them there was no game because I knew that if they had been there to see me as a water boy throughout, my uncle's knowledge and father would have probably said, so I jumps a few up. <laughs> that night I did not eat. I was just brainstorming on what to do. So I ended up thinking, hmm, let me send Mr. Raja a message with my phone. Then I was like, hmm. This Bailu will probably refuse because he knows it's me asking. Then I snuck into my mom's bedroom. She doesn't know that. She's only hearing this today. And I say this exactly. This was my message. I remember. Good evening, Mr. Raja. I haven't played a single game. And I would love to even play two minutes. And I'm leaving this phone here. Listen to this part. And I'm leaving this phone here since it is my mom's. And she's going to see your response. And she tells me what you say. <laughs> And ladies and gentlemen, with that, I knew that there was no saying no. You know how staff members love these parents and all that. And the instant reply was, oh, Benyu, I've been looking for you. And I just thought, I was always on the bench. But <laughs> it's all right, my son. We'll see you tomorrow. Maybe as the game is ending. Then I got there the next day, and he asked me if I could play a nine. And I told him I could try my best, sir. And he said, you can get in the second half after watching Taco, because he didn't want to risk the game. And from nowhere, he said, Ben, you're starting. And I was like, what do I do? The game face on. I played like it was my last game, all the dummies, the steps. I think I had more than four turnovers in that one game, which uh, got me selected as one of the nines for the Ireland tour, but it ended up being cancelled. After that, I regretted telling my parents and my relatives to not come. Maybe instead of, it could have been, so everyone, this is a message to everyone, so everyone, go for what you want in life. Do not wait for it to come to you because I from then on, I was starting nine throughout the season, we only lost to Kyle. I was starting nine throughout the season, we only lost to Kyle. But we did beat the big teams, I think Mr. Miki was there. Uh, such as Churchill. This was because Mr. Raja was such an inspiring coach to us and he understood us in such a way that our bond with him was so strong and you'd want to die for him on that park. I think that's the bond Audrey and Coach Edgar had. I mean, he had only lost one game in three years with all his under-16 teams. Sometimes he would lie to us, I think this is what gave us confidence, sometimes he would lie to us so much that you start believing, for example, you'd be like, Mfana Benyu, my light, you've got the fastest, longest pass, and you can use your sports IQ to get through these guys. And even when you knew he was lying, your confidence would be over the moon. And every game you'd play like there was no tomorrow. He did this to every player and felt special. Even grades, he would monitor, you held two, and about how, you know what, your lifestyle is going. Mr. Mige. <laughs> You probably forgot the moment when you're supposed to lash us. <laughs> uh, it was me and Giggs in order for us to play heritage. But we refused because we were being framed for bullying. So he told us to pack our bags and go home. My mom doesn't know about this. Until Mr. Rogers took us to the side and said, No, boys, look, man, you're always being lashed. Come on. You're used to it. Get in there, my boy. You'll be all right. We need you. And Giggs, come on. Just take one for the team. The lashes, um, for me, they were not really painful. I mean, I was used to always being in Mr. Mickey's office. Like he said on graduation day, that I was always in his office almost every week for a beating because back then I was quite a mischievous lad. Thank you for all the lashes, Mr. Mickey. They did make me a better person and the man that I am today. 
I still have times when I'm not at my best. But it still helped me to mature. Thank you so much, sir. What do you say we introduce you to the school, sir? <laughs> Mr. Roger took me under his wing, and for every sport I played, I had something going on above the school level. Now I want to let you know that sometimes you miss opportunities because God has greater plans for you. I remember the Eaglesville game. That was one of my first uh, games playing for the cricket team, the first team, the cricket team. And I had seven wickets for 14 runs. And I was called up for trials the next year. And in that same year, I had been scouted by this man called uh, Mr. Grant Brown, um, which we went on a tour to, to England for trials. And they were quite impressed with my performance, but they needed my results for Form 4, including math and English. Then I started taking school a bit more serious. <laughs> and I passed, but then COVID happened, meaning I was not going to be able to travel there because the African countries, especially South Africa and Zimbabwe, could not travel to the academy. So I prayed about it. AD David and I applied to the same school, then my dad said, why not try heritage? Isn't Mr. Mike there? <sighs> then I just prayed to God that whatever decision you make for me, I'll take it on. And there I was, heading to heritage. To the supporters, war cries should not feel like a job. Where those, you know, were not participating, it should be fun. I remember the time I was singing, I think the basketball girls were playing against Chizzy. That was the first ever war cry after COVID. And everyone was just jumping up and down with joy. That's the spirit we want to see. When you come here next year, we just come to watch events, we see people dancing about, you know, singing, we join in. Mr. Bengit, I would like to always give um, credit where it is due. Thank you for introducing the CrossFit, the PE teachers, Coach Rasi, Coach Ikman, is he here? Coach Ikman, I don't know who he is, Coach Ikman, for the beep chase and the five kilometer runs. Because whilst other schools were resting, we were working. And I think that is what led to us having the most successful teams the school has ever had in such a long time. Such as the undefeated basketball girls, undefeated under 16 rugby boys. And felt like yesterday when we were all laughing at the hockey girls team, which ended up being undefeated. The owners first team rugby, thank you for the amazing season with only two losses, which is the best run we've ever had at the school. To all the other members of staff, your undying support throughout the journey was really helpful in all this. Mr. Gore, my father away from home. <laughs> Thank you for always being there for me, sir. It meant a lot when I felt like giving up and you just kept pushing for me, sir. I thank you very much, sir. Mr. Pangit, thank you for always keeping me check and fighting for me even when I thought my time on the park was over before it had even started. He's not going to believe I'm going to mention his name. Coach Jigman, thank you for always being on my case. It really helped me to stay in line. Coach D, thank you for all the shouting, which was actually quite funny, but I could not admit it in the moment because we would have never heard the end of it. I wanted to say a lot, but unfortunately, time is not on my side. Those who are part of the journey, learn something from me that I might not have mentioned. Now the best thing you can do is always have God by your side. Be it on the park or in your room, wherever you are, because victory really belongs to Jesus. And I told you this because of him, it would have never been possible for my journey to be this nice. With God, you never regret any decision you make. So it will either be a win or a lesson. So do not only seek him when you want something, but let's learn to thank him for everything he has done for us. I would like to say a short prayer after this. I hope everyone learned something from this, enjoyed this. Let's keep fighting because the last thing I fear is being called the heritage one hit wonders. I know if you fight now, tomorrow will be ours. To all the staff members, I challenge thank my parents for always supporting me. Like I said, um, I was quite a mischievous lad. And when the whole world gave up on me, sometimes I felt like it was like that. They always continued to support me. Financially, mentally, they're always there for me. I love you so much, Mom. Dad in absentia, I love you so much. Kunashi, Leah, and Lindsay, they all contributed to this. 
Thank you very much. Now let me just say a short prayer before I end this. Thank you, dear Father, for this wonderful day. Lord, I thank you very much for all that you've done for us, Lord. I pray that everyone here implements James 2, verse 17, which says, faith without deeds. I pray that everyone here implements James 2, verse 17, which says, faith without deeds. is dead. And I'm talking about this when I'm talking about sports. Let these kids not only have faith, but also perform, also train towards these things, Lord, so that besides faith, they're also doing those deeds, Lord, and they continue to do well, Lord. I know next year is going to be a very great year, Lord. These kids will be moving with you, Lord. I pray you continue to constantly remind you, Lord, that you can do everything for them. Thank you very much. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. I'm sure that was some strong messages that we had from our head of sports. Another round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Now, I would like to call up on Mr. Paghetti to give a token of appreciation to our guest of honor, Mr. Spanda. Mr. Paghetti. And to our head of sports, Audrey Tandiro. <laughs> Followed by Tadiwa Benyu. Well done. Okay, now uh, we've reached the climax of our event where we are now on a of artists from the infants department. Thank you, Mr. Panget. To assist me in handing over these awards, I would like to call upon Ms. Manyanga from the Infants Department. Leslie Mukumba. Can you come up? Just wait here. Leslie Mkumba is a multidisciplined athlete who has seen to excel in whatever sports she did. She has she shown a great character and well-mannered girl in all sports. That has seen Audrey being awarded with the Infants Department Sportsman Oh, Sportswoman of the Year. I would like to call up Calvin Chisenye. I'm sure today you have witnessed Calvin collecting quite a number of shields, trophies for the sports winning that he did this evening. For the same discipline and a well-mannered boy who has shown it all by participating in all these events and doing so well. We therefore award Calvin Chisenye 
the Sportsman of the Year of the Infants Department. Thank you, Ms. Manyak. Another huge round of applause for our Infants Department. I would like to call upon Mr. Marty to come up stage and assist me in handing over the awards for the Junior Department Sports Person of the Year. Kudzieta Tomana. Kuzieta is an all-rounder. She has done the athletics cross-country where she won the Victris Ludorum Trophy, being the fastest runner. She also captained the cross-country team. She, she was, was captain for the netball team. She played tennis and also was the first team hockey player. So, Kuzieta is hereby being nominated as the Sportswoman of the Year Junior Department. <laughs> Takunda Mutuadirwa. Takunda, you won the Victor Ludorum Athletics. You was also the captain for the athletics team. You won the Victor Ludorum for the swimming. He's also a rugby athletics player. He's the swimming captain for 2022. He represented Harare province at under 13 interprovincial rugby tournament. For that, we award Takunda Mutwadirwa, Sportsman of the Year Junior Department 2022. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Martin. Now we're going over to the senior department. I'd like to call up Mr. Mike. Tatenda Masuera. Tatenda has been outstanding in sports throughout her time at the Heritage School. She started the year as a member of the girls' hockey team, where she served as a captain and earning herself colors, honors for their accomplishments. During the first term, her speed brought her victory in the Interhouse Athletics Championship in the relays. She traveled to South Africa with the Zimbabwe under 21 women's hockey national team, where she participated in an under 21 World Cup competition. As captain, she led the girls hockey first team to an undefeated season in the league. All the above culminated in Tatenda being caught up to women's national team 
for the Africa Cup qualifiers where they were tournament winners as an all-rounder. Tatenda also did athletics where she part of the 4x100 team and played first team tennis. She also at one stage played basketball for the junior teams. For, for her unfailing enthusiasm and love of sports, her inspirational commitment and never say die attitude and all the, that she did, Tatenda Maswera is hereby awarded the 2022 Sportswoman of the Year. Tariro November. I'm sure in Zimbabwe within the golf industry, you don't go without mentioning the name Tariro November. is an icon to the industry. Tariro played in the Platinum Classic Tournament, which was held at Norton, where he managed to win the tournament by over 15 shots, which led him to be recognized on the World Amateur Golf Rankings. He was then selected into the Zimbabwe Amateur National Team, where he traveled to South Africa in February. Furthermore, he also got opportunity to represent Zimbabwe Junior Team in the Global International Tournament, which was held in Cape Town. Here in Zimbabwe, he played Mawegu Open, which is an amateur tournament where he finished seventh. In March, he also got to represent Zimbabwe at the junior nation team in Egypt. He finished 14, and as a team, we came third as Zimbabwe nation. He also participated in one of the big amateur events here in Zimbabwe, where he finished third. He was then selected to represent Zimbabwe amateur national team, which traveled to Angola, and in individual, he came fifth, and as Zimbabwe as a nation, we came second. <laughs> Tariro being number two in the country, at the point, he was then invited to play in the Zimbabwe Open Tournament, that's the senior team, which is played at the professional level and really got to gain some experience. In October, he was also selected to represent Zimbabwe Amateur National Team, and due to other school commitments, which was the examination, I'm sure, he did not travel, he pulled out. So with all this, is here being awarded with the 2022 Sportsman of the Year. <laughs> thank you, Mr. Mick. I thank you. Mr. Pangit.
good evening to you all once again. I hope you've had a pleasant evening. Um, I just want to thank my secretary, Rose, for organizing the event uh, and the fellow secretaries from the infants, uh, junior, and senior department. I also want to thank uh, Jerry Sibanda for coming through and being our guest of honor. I'm very grateful uh, for the success we've had uh, post-COVID. As the students rightfully said, I was planning uh, during COVID. My poor wife uh, had to struggle as I was jotting down plans to try and convince the board on how we could get a CrossFit center and uh, how we could improve on our tours and how we could invite more students to join our prestigious school. Uh, the support system I get is amazing. I get to work with every single individual in the school, and I mean it, every single individual. Forgive me if I miss them out, but I'm going to try. The drivers, the groundsmen, the maintenance crew, Acacia boarding staff for their delicious food. Thank you, Mrs. Jiri. Thank you. The nurses who have a tireless job this year because I planned matches from second term all the way till today, we've had matches. So I know they've been busy. They haven't had time away. Uh, with their families, but they've been so committed, so I'm grateful for them. To our sponsors, I thank you for supporting me. I thank you for supporting the school, most importantly. 25 years of excellence. You are part of us. You are part of our success. And we're extremely thankful and grateful. To the bosses, the school directors, thank you for being visionaries. Thank you for accepting my crazy ideas at times. I know I'm always knocking, but I want the very best for the students, and so do you. It's something I've learned from you guys. So thank you for your continued support. To my fellow head teachers, again, I cannot thank you enough for putting time and sacrificing time. You have your academic load, but I'm always coming through and asking for that co-curricular time. I'm always asking for that extra 30 minutes, that extra 15 minutes, in order to put in all the extra work we can to develop our students. Our students, my athletes, thank you for believing in me. Thank you for taking me on as your father, as your dad. I know sometimes we have some run-ins, but it's truly an honor and a pleasure. I'm extremely passionate about my job. I enjoy waking up every morning to actually come to work. I know some people don't. As sports director, I derive a greater enthusiasm from the support I get from my family. I would like to thank my beautiful wife, Penny Pangeti, and my amazing daughters. Thank you, girls, for always waiting on dad, because you know he's going to be the last person to leave the school, because he has to wait for a parent who's sometimes late, because I've asked for sport. And 365, I'm probably the last one to leave the school. But you are always waiting with your beautiful smiles, and we get to do our crazy dances. I'm so grateful that you are in my life. To my amazing coaches, ah, you guys get no sleep from me. I know, I'm always sending you blueprints, and I'm always throwing them in the bin sometimes and saying it's not good enough for the kids, it's not good enough for our athletes, it's not good enough for the students. I believe I'm mentoring Coach boys, ladies, not just in Zimbabwe, boys, ladies. You're going to be world-renowned. I'm passing on the torch to you guys. They have the belief in you. It's amazing to hear how students can talk about you and believe in you. We're doing something right in the school. Parents, I want to thank you for the support you give the school, the support you give me. I know I might be crazy at times, but believe me, it's all worth it. The world is not an easy place, so sometimes I might have to be a bit tough. I might have to be a bit rough, but it's out of love. In conclusion, Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm.
Thank you. My greatest joy tonight is that my beautiful athletes will take their trophies home. Thank you, parents, for accepting my... <laughs> I, hope it, I hope every year you continue to collect these amazing trophies and you continue to support us. Right. Uh, directors and parents, you may lead out to the back. Students, please wait. Yeah, please, directors, please stand. Thank you. <laughs>